This is one of the fastest infrastructure development projects in the world, the Delhi Metro. And it is one man, a builder, who is also a visionary, who is making all this possible. Over the next half an hour, we'll take you to the creative world of E. Sridharan, CNN IBN Indian of the Year 2007. This is how a dream looks midway in its journey towards becoming a reality. Mud being taken out of the earth's womb. You don't even get to see the fetus of the metro station that will be born here. Only the big cranes give you a fair idea of the massive scale of the project. The whole area will be excavated and the station will be built here. This is only one end of the station. The, sta yeah, the station will be this side. It will go beyond that uh, ring road event. Okay, okay, okay. The, the flyover ring road, it will go. It's a long the entire platform. Yeah, platforms all will be under there. Where you put the first, and the man looks uh, every uh, inch a part of this landscape. Uh, and then he should, because he is the creator. It's his vision that is being executed on the ground. Then one day, the construction site will become as commuter friendly and as pleasant as this. <laughs> Sridharan can come here as the proud builder. Be greeted with warm smiles. He is the father of the 21st century infrastructure creation in India. And more importantly, he has achieved all this while heading a PSU. All the people here, they draw the government salaries. So a middle and level engineer, I would say deputy chief engineer for, for that matter, he's take home maybe for about 20,000 rupees a month. That's and, and what would be yours, sir, right now? Mine. Huh? If you see my take home, <laughs> Uh, after deducting all the income tax and other things, hardly about 30,000. The employees know that there are other long-term benefits of working with an institution called Sridharan. The private field cannot have this, this sort of training, this sort of expertise. So they start poaching on our, our, uh, our, our strength. And attrition is taking place. What we try to do is, anticipating this attrition, we recruit more people train them and keep them as reserves available so that we don't suffer. There is one important perk which you can guarantee. I personally feel it is the job satisfaction they get here, the exposure they get, the new technologies, uh, new work ethics, and the opportunity for learning many things. That makes the market value so high. Once they work here for two years and three years, they can go out and draw a command a salary which is 20 times the salary. It is possible. It is in this quiet, modest yeah. office without too many files that ideas grow. It is from this and office that is now planning for all the other metros. When the metro gets completed, the bus system has got to be remodeled. The bus system has to, got to, has to be remodeled. And in Bangalore, in the main area? Same. All the cities with same apply. When he's not here, his office records his heartbeat. But well, this is what symbolizes Sridharan, the reverse clock. It's a constant reminder how many days to go before the deadline for the completion of a project. When did you first conceive of such a clock that will remind the employee that the project has to be on schedule? In the Kudramu project, uh, the then CMD, I think one Mr. Khanna, he started this. So when I got the opportunity to, to handle the Congan Railway project, first thing I did was to, meet, to go and meet Mr. Khanna and find out how he managed to complete his project on time. So one of the tips he gave me was this clock. I started to introduce in Congo Railway, and it was a, a runaway success, I should say. He accepted the Konkan project when he was 58 and retiring. Konkan Railways became an engineering marvel. It gifted Indian civil engineering the adult status. The British had given up this scheme. Sridharan gave himself seven years and built a record 150 bridges and 93 tunnels. He emerged from the project a much younger man. At the work site, he remains a hard taskmaster. You have to make it perfect. Otherwise, it will derail. One of these days, it will derail. He almost scrambles down the stairs. Six floors are covered in a few minutes. 
His face has that possessed look. He loves talking about what is being done here. This is how it is done. But then, after this moves, you add up the, by rings behind. Rings behind. You can see the rings are put in behind. Tunneling has changed over the years. It used to be different when he was constructing the Kolkata Metro. In those days, most of the machines were manual. Yeah, manual. That's why I think that it is required. Yes. When Calcutta Metro, like yes. Money apart. Now only it has become the sophisticated machines are available. Today, machines are available for any type of soil, watery soil or loose soil or hard rock. Machines are available, actually. Patriot yeah. Sridharan is proud that construction now has an Indian face. Where did you learn this operation? I was before in IMCC. And oh, you were in IMCC. I yes. see. Uh -huh. And then I went to Singapore and learned other machines, also operation, how it works. Uh -huh. And come again to serve with India again. Achha, very good. What is your qualification? I am diploma in mechanical. Diploma. See, he has learned everything. So as I told you, the expert is only the, the top level to guide them. Otherwise, everything is done by Indians now. 76, but he has still mastered the new techniques. East Sridharan simply doesn't qualify to be called a senior citizen. I'm much younger than him, but it's extremely difficult to keep pace with this 76-year-old engineer. Look, I'm running out of breath, climbing this so many steps from where the tunneling is being done to the top. He did it in a jiffy, in a matter of minutes. These gantry cranes are operated... He's far from his Kerala home of Palakkad, but he still finds some coconut water to refresh himself. I hope it was not very strenuous for you. It was very good. Uh, it's his energy level that stuns the foreign contractors. They almost worship him. The first project we've managed to finish nine months ahead of schedule. And it's certainly because of the Shredderan pushing us so much and of course supporting us. Everybody respect and he shall be like a god. We call him the godfather, you know. It's but what he has um, installed and um, established, and, and for, for example for safety standards and also design standards, it's, it's, it's like European standard. Infrastructure builder, institution builder, terms which have stuck to East Sridharan, a man whose second working life began after 60. So Back from a hectic tour of the construction sites, he still has the energy to take a board meeting. A board meeting is going on here. Usually Mr. Sridharan handles his meetings skillfully. Coming up after the break, the Metro Man's management techniques. You have not cleaned it at all yesterday. Sridharan can never accept a no. He can find his way around almost any problem. His managerial sense is his own. It's not prescribed in textbooks. In a way, he's street smart and can foresee and deal with any Indian obstacle. So everybody is on his toes and word spreads that the boss is going on inspection. Sridharan doesn't waste a minute even when he's in the car. His mind is working all the time. The secretary is not available tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. It's his trusted man, Friday, I know, is the AKP Unni, who gets to accompany him. He'll take notes of every thought that comes to the good manager's mind. Mm. And Sridharan flaunts his company's logo. He's a good salesman. He stops on his way to the entrance. Sridharan's eagle eyes have tracked down a broken patch, a, lot of dust. a grimy staircase, head smear Last night they have not, this fellow has not cleaned it properly. Mm. See? That? Huh? He has not cleaned it at all yesterday. This can't be in one day. He's recognized in advance. Mm. 